After Earth is a film about emotions. Its central theme is that of a conquering fear and overcoming negative emotions in order to overcome the greatest of obstacles. And that theme is why the film fails. It's not because it's a flawed theme, or because the story doesn't fit the theme. It's because the actors are having a hard time being very emotional at all. In the year 3000, humanity has abandoned Earth and moved on to a new home, the planet Nova Prime. While it's a better home than post-apocalyptic Earth, they are hunted by an alien species that is blind and targets their prey through fear-induced pheromones. That's right, they literally smell fear. Jaden Smith plays Kitai, a boy who aims to be a ghost, a human who has no fear and therefore cannot be seen by these aliens. He and his father, Cypher, Will Smith, are on a training mission when they enter a wormhole and crash land on Earth. As Cypher points out, pretty much every living thing on Earth has evolved to kill humans. With his father's leg broken, Kitai must explore the jungles of New Earth in order to locate a beacon that will help them get rescued. The movie tells a tale of a boy who becomes fearless, when a lot of his peers have no fear at all. However, with the exception of Jaden, who genuinely does the best he can with what he's given, this leads to most of the supporting cast exhibiting pretty much no emotion at all. Everyone feels robotic and wooden. Because of this, it's hard to believe that Will Smith and his son share any real chemistry in the film. The film isn't paced very well either. This may come as a shock to people who have seen director M. Night Shyamalan's other, better works, but the film is a complete slog. Too much time is spent trying to build that relationship between Kitai and his father that the film feels boring. Overall, the film is a complete mess. It's hard to believe that our two leads have any chemistry. The theme conflicts with the bad acting, and it's too slow for its own good. Jaden Smith actually does a pretty good job handling the material, for a 14-year-old actor anyway, but nobody else pays off him very well. Given better casting and direction, it could have been an interesting insight as to what makes us human, but under the helm of this crew, it's better off being skipped. This movie gets a 2 out of 5. For the full review, pick up a paper at a TNL newsstand or check out our website and Facebook page.